Hey everybody, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use our brand new custom design tool. Let's get started. Getting there is easy. Go to ripstopbytheroll.com, hover over the word print, and then go down to custom design tool. You have two options when it comes to artwork. Your first is to upload one of your own pictures or designs. Your second option is to choose from one of our 300 plus preloaded designs and patterns. Both of those options start with this big green upload image or choose from gallery button. Here inside the design selector, you can upload an image or choose from our gallery. Both are pretty easy. To choose your own image, you'll first select the right to use box, then upload image. From here, you'll be able to choose a file from your computer. Note that your orientation options are going to vary depending on your image. What you select here can greatly alter how the design canvas turns out. To choose one of our patterns, you can filter through the options here, or you can look up patterns using the search bar. I'm going to select a personal favorite, the black topo map, as the exemplary pattern for this video. Don't forget the plus button here, which will officially add the image into the design canvas. Before you start editing your image, you want to be familiar with the design canvas. That's the area here in the green box and in between the rulers. First, what you see here is what's going to be printed. If you see white space, then you'll get white space on your final print. The second thing you need to know about are the warning tracks. These are the yellow and red bars on either side of the design canvas. You see, each fabric has a non-usable space. These warning tracks make sure you get a good result in your printed area. Whatever you see under the warning tracks is not guaranteed to be usable. What you see here is what will appear on your final product. The zoom feature is frequently mistaken as an editing tool. This will not adjust the print area at all. It just changes what you can see in the browser. You can use the zoom to look more closely over specific areas on your design that you can't often see as well when it's fit to the screen. Next to the zoom is the rotate and crop image button. The rotate and crop image options will allow you to be more specific about what part of the image you want to use. This is great if you want a repeat pattern over the entire canvas. For example, you can take this box here, dragging the corners and selecting one particular area. That area you choose will then be converted and repeated on the canvas. This feature has a lot of power, so don't be afraid to play around. Make sure to click continue so your changes are applied to the design canvas. Know that this is just the first tweak. In a few steps, I'll show you the image size editor and that will help you dial it in even more. A tool that you're going to want to keep your eye on is the resolution meter. A good resolution means the finer details on your image will print more clearly. You don't need to be wary of a fair or poor grade if your image doesn't require high detail. It really depends on what you want out of your print. Adjusting the orientation can be crucial for some projects, but it also takes some understanding. If I change the orientation to be vertical, then the white area that just appeared here will also print as white space. We made this an option for makers that must be 100% confident that their print is on a usable fabric and will have precise dimensions. Think of things like patterns or kits. The great majority of you will want to select the basic orientation as it will anchor the image to the left side of the canvas, allowing you to get the most usable printed space. In the example that we're using for this video, I'm gonna keep our settings under basic with no cropping because I want this topo pattern to remain seamless across the entire print. Editing the image size will make tweaking your print quite a bit easier. For this example, I'd like to make these topo lines a lot more prominent. Adjusting the image size and ratio will help us do that. So I'll increase the width, but keep the ratio switched on. The ratio button adjusts the height and the width collectively. Without it, you get this awkward stretch on the print canvas. Here's the best part, selecting your fabric. You may already know what you want, in which case you can scroll through and find the fabric that you need. 
If you're looking for more info on what fabric is best for your application, then we've created this tool that goes over each and every fabric you have at your disposal. You'll be able to read about the specs as well as the intention for all 30 plus printable fabrics. This tool should coach you to a pretty well-educated selection. In the example that I'm working with here, I'm going to use XPAC BX15. Moving on to some of our final sections here. You're going to select the size of your print and the number of copies. First, choosing the size. Another way to think about this is choosing the length of your print. The width will remain the same, so for XPAC VX15, that's 57 inches, but choosing a number of linear yards will alter how long you want your continuous print to be. The number of copies gives you the opportunity to print multiple sheets of the exact same print. This would be really helpful if you were making a tarp and needed two identical panels. For our example, we'll pretend like I'm making a pack so one linear yard with a single copy is perfectly fine. I'm really loving what we have here in the design canvas. The image quality is still good and the lines are looking really sharp. At this point, we're just gonna check this button down here and add it to the cart. That's it. The custom design tool is really easy to use and opens up tons of opportunity. So go in there, have some fun, click around, and let us know if you have any questions. Thanks.